Angon comes with a powerful and flexible asset scattering system, allowing you to quickly add dense layers of any asset to your scene. Let's add a plane, and make sure it's our active object. For this video, I'll be using the Light Asset Pack from the Botanic Library, which comes with some pre-designed scatter systems. Open the Engon browser, and use the icons at the top to filter for particle systems. You can also type keywords into the search bar like Particle, Model, or Geometry nodes. Select a scatter, and Engon will instantly add it to our active object, in this case, the plane we just added. If we don't have an active object, Engon will create one for us. You can also shift and control click to select multiple assets to build your own scatter layers, this is great for manually art directing unique biomes and environments. If you've already made a scatter system and want to add a new asset to it, click the drop down for the asset and select Spawn Model into Active Particle System. If you prefer manual placement, you can make use of the clicker operator. Select the asset you want to place and hit Click Assets. Now you can manually scatter the asset wherever you need it. Hold left click and drag to rotate it for some variety. Once you're happy, hit the Escape key. We'll have a full video explaining the clicker tool coming soon. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And if you want total control, you can create an empty scatter, add any assets you want. These can be from Botanic, a different library or something you've made yourself. Make sure you have all the individual assets selected, then shift click the scatter target. In the Engon interface, scroll down to the objects drop down and click the append selection button. It's important to note that if you are manually scattering imported Botanic assets, they need to be set to editable. You can also import the assets as editable by expanding the Spawn Options drop down in the Engon browser. There's additional controls here for setting up the base material, linking the imported collections to the scene, and changing the display mode for the scatter for viewport performance. More on this later. Scatter systems are based on Blender's particle systems and can be modified like usual. If you expand the scatter drop down within the Engon interface, you'll get quick access to the most important settings. You can see that this scatter has three different layers, one for each type of asset. Select a layer to adjust its individual properties. Like any particle system, you can control the density, random seed, particle scale, particle rotation, and add some randomization. The density section is used to limit the amount of particles per meter squared, or for the entire object, just make sure you click Recalculate Density after changing it. The visibility settings are where you can optimize the scatter's viewport performance. Click Manage Viewport Display to control all particle systems at once, or adjust them individually with the controls just below. Either way, the viewport display percentage slider adjusts how many particles are rendered in the viewport, and the display mode lets you render those systems in a simpler format, like solid or wireframe. Below that, we have the paint section. Subdivide the plane, and click either one of these paintbrush buttons to enter weight paint mode for that property. Now we can paint where we want the selected layer to appear, or adjust the length of the asset based on the weight values. This is useful to avoid assets clipping into areas they're not supposed to. Next, we have the object count settings. If these values are all the same, there will be a uniform distribution of the layers. If I crank this up to 10 for the cube layer, there will be one instance of the cylinder for every 10 cubes. Generally, you'll want things like grass to have a higher count than flowers or rocks. Finally, if you're sticking to botanic assets, you can find controls to modify the seasons, individual color controls, as well as a full suite of pre-made wind animations to bring your scatters to life.